modern, innovative business schools set within globally renowned universities that have extensive histories going back over 800 years. There are only two business schools that come to mind that uniquely blend cutting edge innovation with such a rich historic backdrop. And they are Oxford Said Business School and Cambridge Judge Business School. Let's jump right in. First, let's discuss how these programs are alike. To start with, these two university brands with names known around the world attract strong applicants and therefore the caliber of students and competitiveness is similar at both universities in terms of average test scores, academics, and work experience of admitted applicants. Another commonality is that these are both one-year MBA programs, which differentiate them from many top US MBA programs and several other European options. Many students who choose Cambridge or Oxford do so in part because they're interested in a fast moving program with less time out of the workplace and lower opportunity costs via lost salary than two year options. One common misconception about one year MBA programs is that they don't offer an internship. However, at both Cambridge and Oxford, students can and often do complete an internship in the final months of the 12 month program. So if an internship is important, to your MBA experience, it's still very doable at Oxford or Cambridge. Another aspect that Oxford and Cambridge have in common, which differentiates them from other top programs, is the college system, which is a historic and integrated part of the university experience at Oxbridge, as the schools are sometimes collectively nicknamed. Let's touch on this for a moment. What is this college aspect and what is appealing about it for MBA students? Every student at Oxford or Cambridge is enrolled at one of the historic colleges that make up the university. Oxford has 43 and Cambridge has 31 different colleges, each with a unique identity and traditions. Beyond providing accommodations and meals, the college offers academic, professional, and social activities. It's through your college that you'll be invited to attend iconic formal hall dinner events, complete with long tables, grand halls, and plenty of fascinating networking. You'll see Oxford or Cambridge students, including MBAs, wearing their formal gowns for these formal hall dinners, as well as for graduation and special events, and in the case of Oxford, even while taking exams during business school. It's all part of a rich tradition. Now, these colleges aren't just about housing and dinners. The colleges also serve the purpose of connecting students from different academic disciplines, encouraging new ways of thinking, and even potential venture ideas. That cross-disciplinary interaction can be really valuable for MBA students interested in entrepreneurship. This community carries over to lifelong alumni networks. When you graduate from Oxford or Cambridge with your MBA, you become part of three different networks, the business school, the university, and the college alumni network. Another key characteristic is global student diversity, complemented by a globally focused curriculum. While in comparison, a top US MBA programs class might be 30 to 40% international, Cambridge and Oxford MBA classes are typically over 90% international with no one dominant nationality. Studying for your MBA at one of these schools means you will likely have anywhere from 40 to 60 or more nationalities represented within your class across a wide range of sectors, which may makes for truly interesting class discussions. Finally, both Said and Judge are situated in college towns about one hour from London by train. Students live and socialize within these college towns. Bicycle is the transportation of choice in both locations, even among MBA students, so be prepared to get cycling. If you're intrigued by the idea of exploring a historic college town, punting down the river in a flat bottom boat, and biking from a class on social enterprise to a historic English pub where Watson and Crick once discussed the structure of DNA, all within reach of London, then either of these programs could be for you. One thing to note is that Oxford and Cambridge themselves have been rivals for over 800 years, ever since a few Oxford scholars broke off and established Cambridge around 1209. The rivalry is still evidence today, extending beyond academics to events like the annual Oxbridge boat race on the Thames and within the MBA tournament, an annual mini Olympics for European MBA students. But beyond the historic university rivalry, how does the business school experience differ? Each exhibits distinct characteristics and their own ethos. 
Oxford Said stands out for its strong focus on social impact, notably through the School Center for Social Entrepreneurship. This center unites students, faculty, and social enterprise practitioners to drive research and impact initiatives. The center's Impact Lab is a selective program that offers mentoring and workshops for those pursuing impact-focused careers. Oxford's MBA program consistently emphasizes ESG, environmental, social, and governance frameworks, and responsible business, and therefore attracts students seeking purposeful impact-driven careers. Cambridge, on the other hand, is renowned for its strengths in technology, science, and entrepreneurship, reflecting the university's extensive history of scientific advancement. Innovation is ingrained in the culture at Judge, with the mandatory Cambridge Venture Project providing hands-on consulting opportunities for students working with UK-based startups. The strength in technology is driven in part by Cambridge's location in Silicon Fen, Europe's largest technology cluster. Silicon Fen is a growing ecosystem system of technology, healthcare, and life sciences company that includes over 5,000 firms from university-driven startups to major players like AstraZeneca, Apple, Amazon, Arm, and Oracle. Cambridge's status as a tech hub has led the city to attract the highest investment per capita in Europe, which translates to extensive opportunities, connections, and projects for Cambridge students. Both MBA programs use varied teaching methods throughout, from lecture to case studies to group and individual projects. Oxford allows more more customization with eight required courses and 10 electives, as opposed to Cambridge's 16 required and six elective courses. Given the limited nature of the one-year MBA program, I recommend you directly compare the list of required and elective courses to see if one of the programs better suits your career needs and interests. Oxford typically tends to offer more electives in areas such as impact investing, ESG, and sustainability, while Cambridge tends to offer more electives in VC, technology, entrepreneurship, and niche areas such as healthcare and media. One difference in the educational experience between Oxford and Cambridge is that Cambridge MBA students have the option to specialize in a particular area. Currently, Cambridge offers nine concentrations, including typical subject areas like finance and strategy, and more niche areas such as culture, arts, and media management, energy and environments, or health strategies. Oxford, alternatively, offers a way to dive deep through its one plus one MBA, a dual degree option where students can also complete a specialized master's degree in one of 30 areas, from public policy to sustainability to computer science and more, for a total of two years at Oxford. Another differentiator between the MBA programs at Oxford and Cambridge is class size. At Cambridge Judge, the MBA class typically ranges from 200 to 225 students, while at Oxford Said, Class sizes are larger, ranging from 330 to 350 students. Oxford students describe the benefits of their larger program, offering more connections with classmates and a wider alumni network, while Cambridge students value the smaller size, allowing for deeper connections with both classmates and professors. As a side note, Oxford has achieved higher female representation with 51% in the latest class profile versus 42% for Cambridge. In terms of post-MBA employment outcomes, Oxford and Cambridge both typically send the majority of their MBA grads into consulting, finance, and technology, combining to make up about 80% of initial post-MBA jobs. However, differences emerge in social impact in healthcare. Oxford sends a higher proportion, a consistent 10% to social impact or public sector roles compared to Cambridge at 5% or less. In healthcare, Cambridge maintains a solid pipeline with about 5% heading to healthcare roles annually, while Oxford has negligible numbers. Geographically, 50 to 60% of grads from both programs start their post-MBA careers in the UK, fueled by the current graduate visa, which enables graduates from UK degree programs to work for up to two years within the UK without additional sponsorships. Oxford stands out for setting 16% to North America recently, which is the highest percentage among European MBA programs, by the way, compared to Cambridge's 7%. For those eyeing Asia, Cambridge directs about 20% of graduates there, while Oxford sends about 10%. Overall, Oxford and Cambridge each offer opportunities to gain a world-class MBA education with an extremely globally diverse class, complemented by the backdrop of the college system and an over 800-year-old university within an idyllic setting near London. Hopefully, between this video and your supplemental research, you will identify which program is the best fit for you. Want to explore other international MBA options? Check out the next video on why studying abroad may be for you.